from this point on, you are now patient 57. I do not care about your name, and my name is not important. Names do not matter anymore, do you understand? You have a gag in your mouth, and there's tape in case you can't feel it, so just nod your head. Yes, no. Do you understand? I did not kidnap you. I have nothing to do with why you are here. That is all your business and whatever you have done to be involved in this organization. The most they tell me is that the people brought in here deserve everything they get. I'm not a stupid person, and that is probably a lie. However, I am not one to question it, because I need results. I am a doctor, and a very well-paid expert diagnostician. I have questions to things that I need answers to, and you're going to be that help I get. Now to answer any small questions you might be thinking. No, you are not the first person I have run tests on, and yes, the other ones died. Do I think you will survive this testing? No, I do not. You probably have a few weeks at the most. All these tests I give you are to serve a greater purpose, so your life and death will save probably hundreds of others. I am not some crazy kidnapper. I am just a doctor. I like to assume that you are a bad person, but unfortunately I can't afford to wait for consent of other patients. So this organization bringing me in because of my skill set and I am good at what I do, they have willing to let me run tests on you people. Now does this organization want you dead? I do not know. They don't seem to care whether you live or die, to be honest. I do not know why you're here. That is you. Now, whether you have some sort of affiliation with this organization or not, I do not know and I do not care. Like I said, they tell me that you people deserve it. I'm not stupid about this kind of thing. I don't have no, I'm not ignorant or anything, so I know there's a possibility you're just an innocent person who was an abra out of this bed. Okay, the rest is you are in a rehab of sorts, the building at least. You're in a different section of it away from the actual people who are just in rehab. We are running tests on various people. So there are other doctors and nurses and people that will probably walk by and you're gonna hear things. You're not in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah. I think your living conditions will depend on the tests I run. So, I don't want you to worry that you are going to okay today actually today I do not want you to worry that you're going to have some excruciating test done no I'm just going to do a simple simple checkup for the most part the easy stuff Another thing, um, these tests I run, some of them may seem unorthodox, and you might not know why I'm running them. This organization did have some rules and stipulations, actually. They want me to run certain tests and with a no questions asked kind of thing, so I do have a few items over here that I'm going to have to ask you a few questions with. You're not going to be able to answer, just nod your head, yes, no. They're just yes or no questions anyway. Okay. Okay. Let's get started.
is going to be a simple eye test for now. I'm going to shine this light into your eyes, and you are just going to follow it. Okay? Simple like that. Okay. Just do me a favor. Try not to blink. Okay. Yep, just follow it. That's good. Look at my finger. Okay. Just keep looking at my finger. Do not look at the light. Okay. Keep looking at this finger. See how many fingers I'm holding up. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Okay, I need you to look at my nose. Keep looking at my nose. All right. For the most part, your eyes look healthy. Not 2020, but you could be blind for all I care. Finish my test before I do anything with them. Okay. I'm going to test your hearing. Now, I'm going to make a noise in your ear. And I just want you to tell me if you can hear it. Just shake your head. Okay? I'm going to start off with it farther away. Okay? So this should be your left. Here. All right. Now, I'll do it further away. And you tell me if you hear it from far away, okay? Do you hear that? All right. I'm going to make it a little closer now. Hear it from far away. Any closer? Should that fine? Okay. Next, I am going to test your hearing with another noise. I just need you to tell me if you hear this ticking, okay? Tell me if you hear ticking. Do you 
still hear it. If you heard it, then you have excellent hearing, and if you didn't, it's nice to know that this patient is half deaf. I'm going to have to take some of your blood. Now, unfortunately, I do not have the proper equipment here. So this is going to be a little uncomfortable for you. I'm going to improvise. I'm going to get a bottle, a little glass vial, and I'm going to take this needle, I'm going to poke it into your vein here, okay? And I'm going to run a tube right here, and it's just going to pump it into it. I don't need a whole lot of your blood, just a little bit, okay? Excuse me for a moment. Just try to hold still. If you jerk, then this is gonna get complicated. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to feel your pulse. I'm going to lift up your shirt. I'm just going to feel your heart. Okay. being my lack of equipment at the moment, I'm going to have to listen to your lungs by pressing my ear to your midsection here, okay? So I'm just going to have to have you breathe in, okay? That's all you got to do, so just 
do me a favor. Okay, breathe. Just inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Do me a favor. Okay. I just need you to tell me whether you can smell this or not. Okay. You smell that. All right. next questions are actually from the organization. Have you been involved in any cult activities? Okay. Anything satanic? Are you religious? Do you go to church? Are you involved in anything spiritually? Have you ever practiced witchcraft before? Have you ever... Have you ever spoken to an entity that claimed to be from an alternate dimension? Ever experienced extraterrestrial life? Have you ever been abducted? Have you ever seen a creature you could not explain? Okay. Have you ever killed? Someone. Have you ever died for more than six seconds? Okay. Do you hear unexplained noises? Do you see things no one else can see? For some reason, they want me to hold this to your forehead for about 10 seconds. All right. They want me to hold this to your forehead for about 10 seconds. I don't see the point in it, but whatever. I just.
that's all the tests we'll have for today. This is simply a check up, for example. So, next time we meet, things will probably be a little bit different. But for now, you can go back to your bed. I almost forgot to mention, your living conditions are fine. You're not going to be strapped to a bed in a cell or anything like that. Isolated, yes. But you get TV at least. Some HBO. I'm going to 